In today's wrap-up, Parliament has passed constitutional amendments that will see the retirement of three High Court judges. More than 1,000 COVID-19 recoveries have been reported in Armenia in a single day. And the UNHRC has adopted a resolution on genocide prevention, which was sponsored by Armenia. Armenia's parliament has voted to adopt amendments to the constitution that would get rid of judges of the constitutional court that have served for more than 12 years in total. The amendments were adopted in its second reading by 89 votes to zero. The opposition Bright Armenia Party and Prosperous Armenia Party boycotted the vote. Moreover, the president of the constitutional court, Herar Tovmasyan, will no longer serve as head of the body, but will continue on as a member. A new head of the court will then be elected for a term of six years. The new amendments will mean that three judges will have to retire from the court. New judges will soon be nominated by the army Armenian president, the government, and general assembly of judges. The Pashinyan government has been at odds with seven out of the nine judges of the court who were appointed prior to the 2018 Armenian revolution. With three new appointments plus two existing judges appointed after the 2018 revolution, the balance may now tip in favor of the government. The government had also applied for advice from the Venice Commission, a body related to the Council of Europe with expertise in constitutional matters. The commission's advice was therefore followed to allow judges that had not completed their 12-year term to stay on as to protect the independence of the body. Body. A record 1,013 recoveries have been confirmed in Armenia, the highest ever number of recoveries reported since the start of the epidemic. 418 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed today, raising the total number of cases to 21,006. 12 new deaths were also recorded, raising the death toll to 372. In other news, a second team of French medics are set to arrive in Armenia and will join Armenian medics to help combat the pandemic. The United Nations Human Rights Council has adopted a resolution on genocide prevention. The resolution, which was sponsored by Armenia, was lauded by Foreign Minister Zohra Banatakanyan, who posted on Twitter writing that Armenia continues to promote this important topic and express gratitude to the Council. The resolution calls for the prevention of future human rights violations and genocide. Armenia's representative to the UN office, Andranik Hovanesian, stated, quote, The Council will thus recognize that genocide is typically preceded or accompanied by widespread human rights violations, patterns of discrimination, and statements by public figures that express support for the affirmation of superiority of a group. Silvernet's Mark Dovich wrote a piece about overfishing and environmental concerns related to Lake Sevan. On June 19th, strict fishing regulations were passed by the Armenian parliament. Work is also afoot to lift the water level of the lake. Dovich points out, for example, that in the early 20th century, Sevanavank, an ancient monastery, stood on an island, but due to falling water levels, the island has become a peninsula. Dovich concluded by writing, quote, Given the important role Sevan plays in Armenian agricultural and energy production, any efforts to further alter the lake's ecosystem have ripple effects far beyond the lake's shores. To that end, the Armenian government's decision to restrict fishing in Sevan is only a first step in a long road ahead to bring out the lake's full potential. And finally, Gagik Tarukyan has been making headlines as of late. The business tycoon and opposition politician is one of the most recognizable faces of Armenian politics. But with the latest move to have Tarukyan arrested and NSS charges, the end of his political career may be nigh. Silvanet's Ani Paitian made a video piece looking back at when he first gained prominence due to a seven-year prison sentence on gang rape charges in 1979, and even to his sports career and fellowship with the brother of former president Robert Kocharyan. But the video also shows his quirks, such as his famous pet lions, consistent reference to himself in the third person and famous nickname translating to dumb goggle.